Hey guys, welcome back to this week's news review. First off, we got Chaos's PR with the Nightmare stage, of course. And of course, his own PR materials. And then there's the skill if you want to see that. But first off, let's go with a leader skill. Chaos used to be a okay free to play leader. Um, in comparison to before, the attack multiplier has been boosted. Before it was 3.5, now it's uh, 5. And also these have been increased from 1.3 to 1.5 as well. Machinas have also been added. And yeah, it's just a little bit better of a leader. One thing that is not mentioned here, even in the team skill, is the interactions with the old um, sealed lords. Where you alter the active skills. I don't know if they're going to do that. Especially that now that a lot of the sealed lords have been... Um, Changed since the release of the initial chaos, so it will be kind of weird to implement something like that, but also a shame if they don't. And by kind of weird, I mean like implement it in the middle of when they're VRing everyone. And but also, like if you don't implement that, then you know you lose a little bit of uniqueness in the card. And in the active, oh, there's dual actives this time. For some reason, it only shows the. F nope, they changed it. Um, no, both are shown here. Um, three rows of enchantments we added, and a time tunnel effect as uh, four. But when there are more four or more races in the team, the three rows of added runestones will be enchanted runestones. Three enchanted runestones of each type, of all types. So, finally, you can reliably uh, break. Quintet Enchanted Shields with Chaos, if you have the right setup. I don't know which team you'll put him in, like, right now, because Dark Teams aren't... Well, there's only one Dark Leader, and it's Chancellor Huang, but he's not really a Dark Leader right now, because the stages are pretty much against Chancellor Huang nowadays, so it's more of a full demon. Um, I'm looking forward to Greek SR, I think. Maybe you can put him in there. And that would also fit the uh, four or more races, because Greeks have been able to put in any race. It's sort of universal leader. And, yeah. Loki is pretty outclassed. <laughs> and the second active is... Pretty much really where um, the card's uniqueness comes in. You got Restore Armors in Black and White, always useful. Restore all Petrified Runestones, which is, I think, a skill that only like two or three cards have right now. And the first pass 15 runes that we got will be Enchant Dark, that's a Qin Shi Huang effect, effectively. That was not an intentional pun. And Mega Log Rewards next. Yeah. Log in. Just get a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. And also the All Max. So you can choose from a ton of characters. These are the ones that Mad Hair recommends. I'm probably I'm not going to do a video on this because it will be way too long. People have already done videos on this. Go watch theirs. I'm not. Uh, real life is busy right now. Sorry. Big sale on Soul Exchange. Go buy stuff from the Trade Fortress. And okay, there's a Stingray for a commemorative reward for the annual celebration of TOS gift packs. Okay, this this draco this Dragonware is actually pretty good because. You extend moving time by one second and uh, CD minus one. So this one second, is, this can be put on literally anyone. Applicable to all monsters. So you can just plus one movement time to basically any team you want. And that's pretty good. XP speed stage. I broke one of these barrier stages <laughs> with my stamina already overfilled. So don't do that. Um, 
these will be coming out every single day. Uh, be sure to basically drain your stamina past its overflowed state before you do it. Um, also, make sure your level XP is as low as possible. I know those things are kind of contradictory because to drain your stamina, you play stage, you play stage, you get XP. But just make sure somehow that both those are fulfilled as best as possible to get the maximum efficiency. As I said, I already wasted one of these <laughs> in terms of the stamina, but that's okay. New horror stage um, coming up tomorrow. Um, you get the new outfit of Volley. Unfortunately, no one ever uses Volley. Um, new card, uh, Earth Demon. I uh, restart always in black and white. That seems to be a running trend in nowadays cards. Just a lot of <laughs> black and white reversion. And, uh, oh, for basically, for the more attributes, uh, for the more attributes of Runestones Dissolved, you drop up to 30 Earth Moonstones. And when more 30 or more Earth Moonstones are dissolved, the current skill CD minus 4, so this effectively becomes 4. Where would you use this? In Probably in combination with uh, Tiashan, Rakshasha, if you need like a big burst, but I don't know if that's like really the most necessary, because Rakshasha is already like super OP just with like a normal board. They did put him in a Rakshasha team in the video demonstration though, so let's see how that goes. Free all max beast, I got uh, Mellow, what's good in here, uh, Zero's good, Mellow's good, um, basically, oh Tefnut's good, I still haven't got Tefnut. Um, everyone else is basically just old, old leaders. New bi-weekly, that's already out by now. Um, this active is not especially well it might be okay but you know you have the additional um condition here with all members having the same recovery basic value which means you have to put in uh the fruities cards which is another card slot because the fruities aren't that good by themselves but this is essentially some like if you if you've used dodgy second skill that's pretty good and it's three rounds, so when you're moving, you turn everything into enchanted, which is just useful for solving all, so all sorts of shields. Um, there's a short demonstration of chaos. So as you can see, the HP boost brings it up to over 40k. And just a normal bit of uh, damage here with Akasha on. Alright, these animations are ridiculously long, but um, let's skip to the end, I think, is which is. Uh, oh, it's here. Alright, let's see the final damage. It's 14 combos. They didn't use the Draconic, and that's uh, 3.8 bill. Um, as you can see, it's a usable leader, but you need to have a lot of cost and a lot of cards. Um, before we talk about this, um, it's usable, but as I said, it's probably better as member in the future. And in the Easter eggs, there are these two um, card art shown to us. Uh, this is apparently a new card and this I don't know if it's an outfit that will be like way too many outfits for, for Mellow in a short time but yeah alright on to the horror stage card Alright, so in a Rakshasha team, um, right, that he's been activated. So, how many attributed runes? How many attributes are here? That's uh, you're missing fire here. So it drops, and then it drops again in some. I think in some sort of uh, Natsu style, if you remember that.
and yeah, it's been reduced to uh, CD4. So let's just skip that. Of course, it's useful in solving these uh, 30 Earth Moonstone Shields. And let's just. Where's the final burst? Alright, once again, you're missing an attribute here, which is kind of sucky. But, you know, still drops. That's a very low Draconic score, but the final damage is 2.3 bill. Fracture Shadow was never made to be a leader. Um, yeah, so I don't know where you put these, put this card, because there's no real place to put him. This is what Xiangyi looks like, full color, if you haven't seen it already. He's already been revealed to be light human. Which, you know, I will discuss later when he's actually coming out, in which how broken he is. But if you think about the past collabs, you can probably know what I'm talking about with the amount of light humans coming out. So, yeah, that's uh, this week's news review. If you liked it, give a like, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, put that in the comments and I'll try and answer. Um, subscribe to see more news. And goodbye.